good morning students welcome to e subhidya hope you all are fine and safe students in the previous class we have completed the lesson the olympic games today i am summing up the theme of the lesson and we will discuss some activities so students as we know the olympic game started the olympic game began in the valley of olympia the olympic game began in the valley of olympia in greece and we are not sure how why and when the game exactly started but one of the stories tells that it is associated with the greek legend hercules so the king of mycenae was jealous of hercules because the greek legend hercules was very famous in comparison to the king of mycenae so as hercules was so famous so the king of mycenae started giving him very difficult tasks so that in the process of completing the tax hercules will die but hercules was not only known for his strength but also he was clever and intelligent and within the stipulated time period he completed all the 12 tax that were given to him by the king of mycenae so the king of gods zeus become very much pleased become very happy with hercules so he took hercules to mount olympia to live among the gods and in respect of hercules he organized the olympic games this is one of the story behind the starting of the olympic games so several hundred years later in 1896 a french young man named baron perry d cavertin started the olympic games again and he is popular he is known as the father of the modern olympic games so baron perry d cavertin baron perry d cavertin in 1896 started the modern olympic games so with the purpose that the athletes all over the world will come together and will contest among themselves with a friendly spirit they will contest among themselves with a friendly spirit and it will lead to the establishment of brotherhood among them so olympic games as you know are organized every four year and before the starting of the event what happened so before going to the starting of the event let's discuss about the motto of the olympic game and also the flag of the olympic game the symbol of the olympic game we know the symbol of the olympic game is five interconnected rings five interconnected rings and this is so the five continents asia europe africa australia and america five interconnected rings of uh, uh, it is the symbol of the what symbol of the olympic games and it is such unity among the continents and also these five interconnected rings are of different color like the blue black green yellow and red and one of these colors appear in the flag of the participating nation okay one of these colors appears in the flag of any of the participating nation so it is the olympic symbol stands for unity among the continents among the continents so the five rings indicate the five continents like asia europe africa australia and america okay so as we know the motto of the olympic game is swifter higher and stronger and every sports person of the world has one every sports person of the world want to reach or want to reach this goal uh, in their life and the motto of the olympic uh, games is swifter higher and stronger so as we know before the starting of the olympic game olympic as we know that olympic game is organized every four years and before the starting of the olympic game what happened uh, a women dressed in the traditional greek robes a special type of a costumes light the olympic lamp in what in the olympia olympia in greece then 
this uh, light or this lamp or this Olympic flame is passed to different countries or this Olympic lamp or this Olympic uh, flames uh, travel to different countries different sports persons in turn take the Olympic flame to different countries and after reaching or after traveling throughout the world or after traveling throughout the participating nations uh, at last what happened the Olympic flame reaches the ground or reaches the place where uh, the game is going to be organized and it remain uh, in the stadium till the end of the till the end of the game and when uh, the closing ceremony comes then the Olympic flame is put out or extinguished so with a colorful closing ceremony with a colorful closing ceremony then the Olympic flame is put out or extinguished so this is how the Olympic game starts and the closing ceremony is being organized so before the starting of the game what happened so Olympic flame is lighted in Olympia in Greece then the same flame is taken to different countries in turn finally it reaches to the ground where reaches to the ground at stadium where the game is going to be organized and it remain there till the end of the game and with the end of the game in the end of the game what happened a colorful program is being organized and finally with the end of the colorful program then the Olympic Olympic frame is being extinguished and this marks that the uh, this marks the end of the Olympic Games and when the game overs now it is the time uh, for the athletes to return to their homes and some become the winner and many losers but those persons who are who became the winner they have to work again hard in order to return to the Olympic Games and those persons who became losers they have to work more hard and also at the same time they do not have to lose their heart they do not have to lose their heart so because the most important thing is in Olympic game as said by Baron Perry D. Cabotin the most important thing uh, in Olympic game is not to win but to participate okay the most important thing in Olympic game is not to win but to participate like the most important thing in life is not to become victorious but to fight the battle well to fight the battle well the most important thing in life is not to become victorious whether we are becoming victorious in the battle of our life or not it is not important the most important thing is whether we have fought the battle well or not in the same manner the most important thing in the olympic game is not to win but to participate those who become the loser even they got the chance to contest among the best players of the world they get the opportunity they got the opportunity to contest among the best players of the world and this provides a great experience and opportunity to them so the most important thing in in the olympic game is uh, not to win but to participate as said by baron peridy cabotin the founder of the modern olympic games okay like the most important thing in life is to not to become victorious but to fight the battle well so students this is the theme of the lesson the olympic games okay so let's look at uh, some activities students in your book uh, in activity 6 you will found about some sentence are given okay in the activity 6 you will found that you are asked to write the sentence in the simple present tense or simple past tense so you are asked to read the text and to find out the sentences which are written in the simple past tense and which are written in the simple present tense so before uh, finding out such sentences in your test book then we have to understand the structure of the simple past tense and the simple present tense of the simple present tense and the simple past tense so let's look at the following sentences and let's underline the subject and circle the main verb okay so let's look at the sentences and let's underline the subject and uh, circle the main verb the first sentence is we walk slowly we walk slowly students here the subject is we and walk is the main verb second sentence i like ice cream here the subject is i like is the main verb so the third sentence radha talks very fast here the subject is radha and talks is the main verb then the next sentence Madhu brushes her teeth. Here Madhu is the subject 
and brushes is the main part. So students, you see that all these sentences are in the simple present tense. All these sentences are in the simple present tense. So all these sentences are in the simple present tense. So students, let's see what is the structure of the simple present tense. What is the structure? Structure of the simple present tense. Students, the structure of the simple present tense is subject plus first form of the verb. Subject plus first form of the verb. Or main verb plus object. Okay, plus object. So, the structure of the simple present tense is what? Subject plus first form of the verb plus object. So, you see that the subject is we and first form of the verb work. Okay, what is the first form of the verb work? So, the structure of the simple present tense is subject plus first, first form of the verb. Then the object comes. Okay. So, I like ice cream. I is the subject and first form of the verb is like but you see here students, Radha talks, Radha talks very fast. Here we have added S to the main verb. Madhu brushes her teeth twice a day. Here we have added ES to the main verb of brush. So students, if a sentence remains in the simple present tense and the subject is third person singular number, then we add S or ES to the main verb. Okay? If the sentence remains in the simple present tense, and the subject is third person singular number, then we are S or S to the main verb. So here students we have added S to the main verb talk and it becomes talks because Radha here is the subject and it is third person singular number. So as Radha is a third person singular number, so here we have added S to the main verb talk. So it becomes talks. So Radha talks very fast. And here you see Madhu brushes twice a day. Here subject is Madhu and Madhu is third person singular number and the sentence remains in the simple present tense. So we have added yes to the main verb brush. So it becomes Madhu brushes her teeth twice a day. Madhu brushes her teeth. So the main verb we have added yes and it becomes brushes. So let us look at the next sentences here. Let us look at the other sentences here. Students you see here she left the school in 2010. Here subject is C and main verb is left. Then they watched the movie yesterday. Subject is they watched is the main verb. Then here he bought a new car last week. Here subject is he and bought is the main verb. Okay. Then I ate an apple. Subject is I and ate is the main verb. And C worked in a factory. Subject is C and worked is the main verb. And you see here students all the sentences remain in the simple past tense. All the sentences remain in the simple past tense. And what is the structure of the simple past tense? The structure of the simple past tense is subject plus verb of past tense or second form of the verb plus object. Okay, this is the structure of the simple past tense. So all the sentences remain in the simple past tense. All the sentences remain in the verb. Simple past tense. And what is the structure? What is the structure? Structure is a subject. Subject plus verb. Verb of what? Now past tense or second form of the verb. Verb of past tense or second form. Second form of the verb. Second form of the verb plus object plus object. Okay, this is the structure. This is the structure of the simple past tense word. The structure is subject plus verb or past tense or second form of the verb plus object. Students, you see, subject is C and left is the past tense of the uh, what? Past tense of the verb or second form of the verb leave. Leave second form left. They watched the movie yesterday. They is the subject and watch is the second form or past tense of the verb watch. Watch, watch, watch. It is the past form or past tense of the verb watch. He bought a new car last week and it is the 
past tense here subject is he and what is the second form of the verb by okay b o y by and i ate an apple here i is the subject and ate is the main form and ate is the second form of the verb or past tense of the verb eat and see what in effectively see the subject and what is the second form of the verb what okay second form of the past tense of the verb what so like this in the same manner students will find out the sentences from the book which are written in the simple present tense and also simple past tense i am giving one example to you you see here that i am giving an example of a simple present tense in the paragraph 5 you found The sub here, the Olympic symbol with the Thai rings stands for unity of the Thai Koreans. The Olympic symbol with the Thai rings stands for unity, okay, of the Thai Koreans. So here this sentence remains in the simple present tense. And let me give an example of a past simple past tense. He ordered Hercules to do many difficult and dangerous tasks. He ordered Hercules to do many difficult and dangerous tasks. Here this sentence remains in the simple past tense. Another example: He found the ways of completing all the twelve dangerous and difficult tasks. He found. You see, he is the subject, and found is the main verb, which is the second form of the verb find. Okay. So here the sentence remains in the simple past tense. So students, here are some homeworks for you. You will read the text thoroughly. You will read the chapter thoroughly, and you will write down the sentences. Which are in the simple present tense and which are in the simple past tense. Okay, students. Before closing, there is uh, one thing is there. You see, students, many poor countries perform so well in Olympic games in comparison to India. You know, India is the second most populous country in the world, and it is one of the growing economy of the world. But still, our performance in the Olympic games. Very poor in comparison to the other countries or other small countries. So what are the reason behind this? Students, the main reason is in our country, children and parents think they don't think about the sports and games as a career option. The main problem is that in our country, children and the parents don't think about the sports and games as a career option. And next one is. Students in our country, there is lack of some infrastructure. Lack of infrastructure is also one of the problem, and also lack of sporting environment. Lack of sporting environment is also responsible. Lack of sporting environment is also responsible for what? Uh, for low performance of the sports and event, sports and games, and also. due to lack of hard work encouragement and lack of facilities so our performance in the olympic games is also very poor so students uh, india is a growing economy so we should try our best to develop a sporting environment in our country so that our children will participate more in the games and sports so thank you have a nice day see you in the next class